get a degree of satisfaction because you are in something exclusive, and that's fulfilling something, you know. I'm in this fraternity, and it's the best fraternity in the world, and, and everybody can't get in this fraternity. The danger is that they can become forces of classism and exclusivism, so it ends up, you know, a very exclusive kind of thing. That can happen with the church. I know churches get in that bind sometimes. I've been to churches, you know, and they, they say, you, uh, we have uh, so many doctors and so many school teachers and so many lawyers and uh, so many businessmen in our church. And, and that's fine because doctors need to go to church and lawyers and businessmen, teachers, they ought to be in church. But they say that, even the preacher sometimes will go all through that. They say that as if the other people don't count. The church is the one place where the doctor ought to forget that he's a doctor. The church is the one place where the Ph.D. ought to forget that he's a Ph.D. The church is the one place that the school teacher ought to forget the degree she has behind her name. The church is the one place where the lawyer ought to forget that he's a lawyer. And all you are living on is the satisfaction of thinking that you are somebody big and the only thing he has going for him is the false feeling that he's superior. And so Jesus gave us a new norm of greatness. If you want to be important, wonderful. If you want to be recognized, wonderful. If you want to be great, wonderful. But recognize that he who is greatest among you shall be your servant. That's a new definition of greatness. By giving that definition of greatness, it means that everybody can be great. Because everybody can serve. You don't have to have a college degree to serve. You don't have to make your subject and your verb agree to serve. You don't have to know about Plato and Aristotle to serve. You don't have to know Einstein's theory of relativity to serve. You don't have to know the second theory of thermodynamics in physics to serve. You only need a heart full of grace, soul generated by love.